Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a paracord lanyard really quick. You need about five feet of paracord. Hold it in half. Take it up to your top. Loop it over. Tuck the other side in. Just as if you were making a survival bracelet. And then tie it nice and tight like that. Actually, I'm going to do the other color. Well, no, that'll work. And you want to repeat the process. Loop it under or over the top like that. Your other color goes in and then through the other loop. And then knot it like so. Then grab your two ends or your loop. Grab your knot and pull away. That way you get a nice tight ending to it. And just keep repeating the process over and over. Always tugging to make sure it's as tight as it could be. Just like so. Always make sure it's nice and tight so you have no loose portions. See, I mended two different colors here. So what I recommend doing is I have my mend right there and my lanyard is actually going to cover it. And that way you won't even see the, the uh, fuse. And it'll work out perfect. I'll speed this part up during the video. I just want to tug it and make sure it's perfectly straight. A lot of people make their bracelets and lanyards and stuff by tying it down. I don't find it easier or more difficult either way. Okay, now you just want to take your ends and of course snip them off with some sharp scissors. And singe them, hold it on an angle, that way your flame doesn't touch your lanyard. Only the part that you want to melt, try to keep it at a distance. And it'll usually turn grayish black. That's what I go for. That way it blends into the camouflage. And there you have it. Paracord knife lanyard. Got multicam in the middle and OD green on the outside or the opposite. Multicam on the outside, OD gray on the inside, and you got an OD gray lanyard. Loop it through, and there you go. Same as a bracelet, easy, five feet of paracord. And you can add it on just about anything flashlights, knives. You make them miniature and put them on zippers, whatever you prefer.